Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. La la bosha. La bosha. La la bosha. La bosha. La bosha. Thank you, Jesus. Mura bushi tala Worship him, whatever you are. Hallelujah. Bless the name, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. We worship you, Jesus. You are Lord. I start here. Bountiful. A word of Somebody help me. Let's sing now. Worship it. Sing it well. Sing it well. Can you help with the lyrics? Help with the lyrics. Desire. Everyone to sing the song. Let's see the lyrics. Yes, please. Please. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. 
Jesus in the cross in the cross be, be my, my glory, glory. come on somebody help me see my my righteous For day, for this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for the day. Thank you for today. Thank you, Jesus. You alone are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. I want to worship one more song. And I want us to sing that song again. Receive my worship. Let God receive our worship this morning. Amen. We came to worship him. Let us him to receive. Not every worship the Lord can receive. But let us him this morning to receive our worship. Whatever you are this morning, I want you to just lift your voice this morning. Begin to just sing. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Not some, but all. Receive my worship. Mm -hmm. All of my worship. Here is my worship. Yes, my worship. Oh, receive my. Receive my worship. Oh, all of my worship. All of my worship. Father, receive. My worship. Receive my worship. Here is my worship. Get my worship. All of my worship. Father, receive my. All of my worship, all of is my worship. Father, receive my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Say you are. 
chapter 4 verse 7 while we are about to read the scriptures we want to celebrate the woman of God my wife beautiful wife and a very special way we celebrate you hallelujah I want you to take a good look at yourself and say thank God for myself take a good look at yourself and say I'm very beautiful amen you don't need nobody to tell you that you are beautiful. Look at yourself. You know you're beautiful. Just say it to yourself. Amen. Amen. Say, I'm very beautiful. Amen. I look very good. Amen. Amen. We start to bring all of you that are here. Pastors, Kufars, wives, leadership of this ministry. We celebrate you in Jesus. I want to celebrate our SG. It's by all the way from Liberia. Amen. Amen. From the motherland, like he never used to like Liberia. I don't know why. <laughs> Amen. Send our token there now. The fresh now has begun his farm rule. He go without me. He stay there without me. Come back without me. I gotta check in his spirit to see why he go there for. <laughs> what making him to stay there? You find something. All right, all right, yes, all right, all right. We will see you, amen. Bless the Lord for him, amen. Hallelujah. Let us read one, two, three, go. Wisdom is the principal thing, so therefore get wisdom. In all you're getting, get understanding. I want to minister to you this morning on a topic here that the Lord gave me. Wisdom to build. Wisdom to build. The wisdom you need to build. 
in Jesus' name. Wisdom to build. Have your seat. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Take all the glory, take all the honor. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord for you. I want to bless the Lord for all of you that showed up yesterday. 10 o'clock, it was a wonderful time in the Lord. Ah, my goodness. I don't want to do this small meeting, but it was so powerful. The power of God came down there crazy. Amen. Uh, people got delivered here yesterday. Amen. Delivering is powerful. Amen. Bless the Lord. I want you to pray with me as I go along on this word. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wisdom to build. Wisdom to build. <clears throat> the Bible tells us that wisdom is a principal thing. So every man who lives on the planet Earth, your life should have a principle. Amen? If you don't have a principal life, Things become very complicated. The reason a lot of people don't have principles in their life because they lack wisdom. The wisdom teaching is one of my favorite teachings that I love to teach. And the reason is that because not everybody has wisdom. There are people who are educated, but they lack wisdom. Educations or going to school don't really give you wisdom. Wisdom is different from knowledge. Hallelujah. There are many people who are educated from academic schools. Some went to colleges. Some got a degree. But wisdom is lacking. Wisdom is very powerful. <clears throat> Hallelujah. <clears throat> wisdom. So every man to build your life, to build your church, to build your ministry, to build your relationship, you need somebody call it. You need wisdom. Wisdom is so powerful that many people kind of downplay wisdom. And many times, most often I tell people wisdom was with God from the beginning. <clears throat> before God ever created the universe, before God ever began his work, he had wisdom with him. Right. To show you that have wisdom is so important. The reason why a lot of marriages fail, a lot of organizations fail because the thing called wisdom is lacking. When you have wisdom, wisdom make you wise. It is not education from school make you wise or not make you wise. It is wisdom that make you wise. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1. Somebody give me that. Let me. Hallelujah. Wisdom is a principal thing. Let's look at this verse 1 of Proverbs chapter 14. 1, 2, 3, go. Everybody read that for me. 1, 2, 3, go. The wise woman builds her house, but the foolish one pulls it down with her hand. The reason why a lot of homes, men don't build homes. Men scatter homes. It is women that build homes. Amen, somebody. A wise woman builds her house. So from the passage of scriptures, I come to realize they have some foolish women. I, I'm not the one who called them foolish. I said they got some foolish women. Can we read the scriptures again one more so you can quote the prophet? One, two, three, go. The wise woman built her house, but the foolish tore it down. There are some foolish, stupid, and foolish women 
that keep on tearing down their heart. Why? Because they lack wisdom to understand certain things. They lack wisdom how to. I will never forget a story. There was a girl that was praying for a husband. She's a powerful, powerful minister. Golden voice. Sing across the globe. Very talented, gifted. Lady of woman of God. You see, um, nobody tells people that everyone's got a gift. And the Bible's right to tell our God himself say, your gift will make room for you. Your gift will create room for you. But lack of wisdom will kick you out of the room. Meaning your attitude will not allow you to stay long in a room that your gift has made for you. Because a lot of people who are gifted will lack wisdom. A lot of people who are gifted, but there is no wisdom. Amen, somebody. Wisdom is so very important in the life of every believer. Before you ever start anything in your life, the first thing you pray for is wisdom. Lord, give me wisdom how to carry on. Give me wisdom how to behave in this marriage that I am about to enter. What makes Solomon to be the wisest man on earth when Solomon was about to take over? He went to God. He said, God, I need wisdom to lead your people. I don't need power. I don't need money. I don't need anything else. Lord, but I need wisdom to govern your people, to instruct, to live with your people. People of God, wisdom is very expensive. If you lack wisdom, you lack common sense. A wise woman built her house. <clears throat> Any woman who taught plenty, you are not wise. Okay. <clears throat> Any woman who taught plenty, you are now what? You are foolish. Number one. Number two. Any woman who raised her hand on her husband, they should take you to a mental institution. <laughs> Amen, somebody. A wise woman built her house. Wisdom is profitable to direct. The scripture tells her. Oh, my goodness. I can stay on that topic for 10 years. Because wisdom is so powerful that a lot of people don't want it. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22. Let's see that quickly. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22. I want, to tell you, I want to show you something real that will help you. Wisdom speaking here. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22. The Lord possessed me in at the beginning of his way, before his work of old. Meaning, God has wisdom before he even begins his work. In that same verse of scripture, I want to see it. Let's see from verse 12. Let's look at verse 12 of Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 11 and 12. Go to Proverbs 11 and 12. I want to show you something tonight. Aha. Uh -huh. You see, talking about wisdom here. What does it say? Read one, two, three, go. For wisdom is better than Reuben. And all things, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. How expensive is wisdom? That is so expensive, more than rubies, which is more than gold, more than diamond, more than every material thing that you may ever have. <laughs> I pray that the spirit of wisdom will overtake you today. Amen. The amen take the blessing. Yeah. Wisdom. You need wisdom to lead your children. If you don't have wisdom, you can't lead them. Especially when you got a lot of them. Amen, somebody. Amen. Children are corny. I can read a book on them. Amen. I got 30 years old. I got 25. I got 22. I got 16. I got 12. I got 9. I got eight. Oh, nine. 
Okay, all right, all right. Nine. I got nine. And what? Kim Nimi, you know. You, you, you don't want to push you now. Come on, Kim Nimi. <laughs> nine. Ten. Eleven. Fifteen. Thirty. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. I read a book. My son in Germany, you were born November 22nd, 1930. It's gone November. Amen. That's the fresh. I was 19 when I had a nigger. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Wisdom is profitable to direct scripture. Tells. When you have wisdom, you operate smoothly in this life. Life don't give you problem when you have wisdom. Stupid people struggle. Ah. May God help us tonight Amen. to receive wisdom. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yesterday in our study, it was very powerful here. And I get an illustration. I've been to a few countries around the world. I have been among a lot of nationality around the world. It was recently when I went to Liberia. And the Lord began to tell me the reason why Nigerians are blessed. Because a lot of the Nigerians that came in my meeting, none of them, those that have businesses, I mean real business, here yeah, edgy, they got business, they got car garages, they got used car companies, none of them came for prayers. Every one of them that came to me, they had to bow their days to speak to me. I tell you what's a human worship. The Lord said, no, it's not human worship because you cannot be equal with something and something come for nothing and bless you. One got to need because what is what is higher blessed than one that is done. You, you, you missed something. Somebody shout hallelujah. There's no way a nothing can flow from Cody to Cody. Because you see this woman, I don't know who taught her, but you know, I think uh, yeah. she got here, hear me? So there's no way blessing can come from her to me. You see what I'm saying? It can come. But if she need a little bit, what on me can fall upon her? So every time they come like this, like this, they want you that is higher to bless them. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because the Bible tells us that they, 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 they bless us is greater than the one he bless. Amen? The one who bless is greater. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Why? Because the anointing come from up. So whatever that is equal, will you nothing flow to the other? One got to come down. For what on this one to come on this one. Whatever you sit on her blesses you. But there are many who are fool. Hallelujah. We had a meeting among my boys, and one of them, they were single out. I got a lot of boys when I get by home. And everybody was lashing on one person. Every one of them was lashing on this guy, they said, because he's not humble enough. Even last night when LG came, came straight to my house, and I said, talking about a young man. And one of the boys said, yeah, we, 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 you don't have no one arm of respect for prophet. I mean, there were over 25 of them in, 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 in my guest house. And, and every one of them was on this one guy because they observed his behavior. He pretend to be humble, but he's not. So everybody was on him. He said, you pretend you are not humble. And the other guy stood up, Albert Clark. He said, we know that because, first of all, you think proper is your equal. You put your foot in the man's slippers. When he take off his shoe, you wear it. Who born you? And everybody was on him. What happened here is that, and, the rich, and, and because of that, he's not really blessed. And a lot of them, there are these guys that come, they are so, so very, very blessed. Because the way they carry on themselves. There's nothing called human worship. The Bible says, give honor to who honor is due. That's scripture. Amen. So a lot of people, the reason why they feel that they are equal with their pastors and their prophet is because stupidity is overtaking them. There's no arm of respect. I will listen to Bishop Donkey William, and I followed that video to a lot of, lot of you. Donkey William said, Anyone who is gifted and don't have some matter over that person is a dangerous person. A gifted person that don't have authority over that person, you are what? Dangerous. You saw that video? Some of you saw it, right? I fired on Nancy, I fired a lot of you. Somebody say amen. Because common wisdom will tell you that we are all the same. 
but we are not having the same grace. Grace and mentor. Anointing and mentor. Somebody say amen. amen. So many because of lack of wisdom, you think you are equal with your pastor. Your pastor is Shakuri. Somebody say hallelujah. When the Lord told me that, he said, wow. I said, wow. I went to Bishop to pray for me before I left. I never used to kneel down for him to pray for me. I was standing there, he put his hand on my shoulder. But when I kneel down in from Bishop and he prayed for me, he said, ah, something has entered you, prophet. Somebody said, hallelujah. I still learn. He said, something has entered you. Somebody said, hallelujah. hallelujah. I kneel down. With all the prophetic and all in, I must need down to somebody. Somebody say hallelujah. May someone receive greater anointing here today in Jesus' name. Yeah. Wisdom is better. Somebody say wisdom. wisdom. People that lack wisdom don't lack correction. Oh my goodness. I don't know if somebody's going to help me here. Stupid people despise correction. Because there's no wisdom in it. When you correct them, they get angry. Why? Because pride takes them, they feel they, are, they know better than you. So as a result of that, they will, they will go and go and go and come by low. Your yeah, life will be frustrating because you know why? Today you ought to marry down because there's no arm of what I call wisdom is inside of you. Is somebody hear me? Yeah? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you better get Wisdom. Uh, may God help us in Jesus' name. They don't let correction. Let's look at verse 20. This is what the Bible says. There's nothing you can compare with wisdom on this earth. Nothing you can do what? Compare with wisdom on this earth. Wisdom cannot be compared to anything. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wisdom cannot be compared to anything. When you have wisdom, you will know how to honor people. I got a friend. He lives in Virginia. He will call me to ask me for scripture. I don't know, sir. Every time he comes when I show him scripture, he says, Oh, I knew it, but I just forgot. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, I'm serious. In Virginia, in ministry, we all came, he came to the city. We used to preach all around. Every time. He will come and say, Prophet, what is scripture that I said when I gave him the scripture? He said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I just knew it, but I just forgot. Stupidity. Why can't you say thank you? Even if you knew it, wisdom will tell you, No, 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 I knew it, but let me keep quiet because I forgot it or something. Somebody should. Because you want to act like you know everything. That's the reason why you are not going anywhere. Amen. So listen, when he called me for a scripture, I can say, Ting, ting, that thing. <laughs> I told him the other day. Coming first. I said, man, I got your thing, thing, your thing. Here we come, thing. Because I don't want to tell you. Then you say, okay, I forgot. I just knew it. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Wisdom will help you to build your house. Wisdom will help you to live this life. Wisdom will help you to respect and honor people. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Every wise child of God are in church. When you get wisdom, you will honor your pastor with more the pastor. Because happy home depends on the wife of that home. So if you have enough wisdom, you will make your prophet wife happy even more than your prophet. Because when your prophet wife is happy, your prophet will be happy to pray, to fast, to minister, to prophesy. But when she's not happy, <laughs> stretch your hand over and say, Lord, I pray she will be happy. <laughs> All right, maybe she'll be happy when she see you on the boat. She won't order you to be on the boat and support what she's doing. It will be more powerful in Jesus' name. Amen. Even if you don't want to go, just go there and make her happy. Somebody say amen. amen. Even if you refuse to go, just pay that money and contribute. That will make her happy as well. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Some of you can spend 200 hours on McDonald's. But to make the prophet wife happy, you don't want to. What's wrong? I never slept any time from, from 12 to 5 at the I pray through all. And I make sure I make sure everybody knows. The Bible says, blessed is a man who has people that stay in the gap to pray for them. Yes. Yes. It, it has become like a lifestyle. You saw it. 
Wisdom make you wise. Somebody say amen. amen. May God give you wisdom to, to, to prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. It is what we need. What many marriages home are breaking apart because something is lacking. Yeah, what the Bible says. Let's read again. Everybody read. One, two, three, go. Everybody read. Our wisdom dwells with prudence and find our knowledge in that description. Hallelujah. So wisdom introducing herself. She said, I am wisdom. Before she started speaking, I am wisdom. I am wisdom. In other translations say, I, he said, I am wisdom and I live with prudence. Find our knowledge and description through wisdom. So wisdom is powerful. So, the ministry, so God is telling all that you need wisdom for direction. Shai, amen. amen. Before you enter into a relationship, ask God for wisdom. Or else you will call yourself single man. You will change your name to single man. And then you will have baby daddy stories. Why? Because wisdom was not there to know that before any man sleep with you, he must put a ring on your finger. Uh, nobody will like me. If you like it, put a ring. Somebody say amen. You know that song already. Wisdom will help you. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You need it. Uh, Jehovah, you are worthy to be praised. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Wisdom to build. Why many are not building? Because they ain't no wisdom, they ain't no instruction. Yesterday, was that yesterday? On Friday or yesterday, I was giving. Uh, uh, illustration about this guy who I told about to buy the blood because I saw the angel of death over his house. Was I yesterday or Friday? It was Friday. I didn't know Pinky was watching because we were on live. His daughter was watching. His daughter said, Daddy, you forgot one thing. I said, what? She said, you, I, I heard a testimony about my dad being stubborn and not listening to you because he's a pastor. I said, what a level? He said, his sister-in-law died because you only mentioned his son and his auntie. But it also a sister in law that in that same month. I got it, I wrote it down. Amen. I told him from Arizona and he is Pastor Philip B. Johnson. He got a daughter named Pinge. Pinge Johnson, she went to prayer down in Arizona. I saw the spirit of death wovering over his house as a prophet that's my duty to see and yet give instruction. So I called him on messenger. I said, Man of God, I see the spirit of death wovering over your house. First, I sent a message to his daughter. It made daughter. He said, oh, oh, forget it. My heart is covered. I got Jesus already. My heart is covered. You know, forget about that. In the, in the next month, his son was racing with one of his friends in Atlanta, Georgia. They were doing car race. And then he left the road. He died at the age of 22. The same month, his auntie in New Jersey died from heart attack. His sister in law died the same month with cancer. They had whoever that knows where uh, kidney stone on the way to do the surgery. He called me now. He said, man of God, you said, we cannot do as we buy. I said, orange juice. <laughs> because I instructed him to buy red juice, which is the blood. When I see the blood, I will pass over. Because he felt he was a pastor. He know everything. Pastor Kofa. <laughs> Ah, God help the generation. Somebody shout hallelujah. He lost his son, 22. Lost his only auntie. His mother's surviving sister. She died the same month. His sister-in-law died from cancer. His wife was scheduled now for surgery to remove kidney stone. Then when he realized his daughter kept telling him, Pinge kept telling him, he said, Daddy, you remember what prophet said? Why are you overlooking this thing? We are seeing Junior is dead. We are seeing Ente Sue is dead. And no, uh, all of that. We are seeing it. Why are you stubborn? Then reluctantly, he picked up the phone because he didn't want to lose his wife in surgery and call me. People with wisdom listening to instructions. 
Just because you are pastor don't mean you know everything. Shut up. Sit down. Who you have over you? Somebody say amen. amen. Just because you are so anointed don't mean you don't need nobody. I don't care how educated you are, how, how much money you have. As a matter of fact, there was a money, a rich, the Bible called him. How can you be rich and you be fool? The Bible called him the rich fool who tear down his bound and build new ones. And he said, I will get all that I want. What had I worked for over the years? The Bible said he got out everything in the book of Luke. He tear down his old kitchens or his old storage and built new storages. And he packed, he fed it out with food and everything that he needed. He never mentioned God in all his statements. And he said with him, he said, it's the baton that will eat in your life. And the Bible said, God came that very night and said, you fool, tonight your life is required. And I will see who will enjoy all those things that you ever built in a year or this year. We'll see who will enjoy all what you have accumulated over the year. He died. The best way to ever protect what God gave you is to continue to honor the one who gave it to you. <laughs> now watch it. <you. coughs> The best way to protect what you have is to continue to honor who gave it to you. That's wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. wisdom. If you look at the book of Hosea chapter 2, verse 13, the Bible says, because that's our key scripture, many of you read it over and over. The Bible says that by a prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt, and by the same prophet, she was preserved. Meaning if God gave you something, never leave. If God used a man or a prophet to, to bless you, you should remain connected to maintain what you have. That's wisdom. Somebody say, that's wisdom. Wisdom is a principal thing. So in your getting, in order for you to build your relationship, you need wisdom. Amen. May God give it to you now. Amen. May God give it to you now. Amen. This guy lost his sister-in-law, lost his son before he could come to himself. Somebody say, Amen. Proverb, I am wisdom. So if you read on God Himself telling you that wisdom was with me from the beginning. Let's look at verse 13 quickly. Let me see the characteristic. Verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogance and the evil way and the proverb of I hate. That's wisdom speaking. I repeat, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse smurf I hate. So this is the thing perverse. He said, when you get wisdom, you don't do the thing. A perverse smurf. He said, I hate. And the Bible tells us, how can you first start to get wisdom? The fear of the Lord is a step to get wisdom. So you ought to, there are a lot of people who want wisdom, but they don't fear God. Uh, Lord, help about people in Jesus' name. People of God, life is sweet and short. Life is sweet and short. To enjoy this life, as for wisdom, how to live this life. Yeah. Wisdom. Wisdom will tell a gentleman to remain faithful to his wife. Because you know what going around will bring HIV. Okay. Somebody say Wisdom. Wisdom will help you to be faithful. It is lack of wisdom make you unfaithful. Who am I speaking to here? Somebody shout amen. amen. Wisdom. You argue with your pastor. Arguing with your pastor. <laughs> Stupid people do that. <laughs> you correcting your pastor. He's stupid. It's in scripture. I will give you all the scripture that says so. Hallelujah. Who's supposed to correct your pastor? The one that is over him. Even if your pastor's doing something that you don't like, the Bible says, kneel down and pray. Thank you, Mama. She quoted the scripture during our prayer. Kneel down and pray for him or her. Do you know prayer works? Somebody say prayer works. So people with wisdom will, 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 will lead differently. Ah, my goodness. Let God help us today in Jesus' mighty name. 
When you have wisdom, you will not take gossip to be a center of attention in your life. Because everyone will wish on hate gossip. God help us in Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Wisdom to build. Wisdom to do what? To build. Wisdom to build. Wisdom to build. Lord, give her wisdom to build in the name of Jesus. Give her wisdom to build in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, hear what the Bible is saying. Look at verse. Let's keep going. Verse 14. The wisdom speaking. The counsel is mine. And sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. That's why wisdom speaking. Keep going. Wisdom stay talking. Wisdom stay talking. By me, kings ring and rule decree justice. Yeah, what wisdom say? Wisdom say there's no way kings can rule without me. So any king that allow wisdom, that king is stupid. That's it. Amen. Amen. Somebody, wisdom is bossy. By me, kings rule. Kings. But make kings rule. So there's no way you can rule your home, your life with all wisdom. Preach, preach. Help me preach. Wisdom rule the world. I like that. Amen, somebody. Wisdom is a prophet. Look, look. This is it. But make kings rule. But make kings rule. Kings reign by me. Let me see from another translation. I don't have time. Time creeping on me. I won't finish it, but I want you to get it. Look at another translation. Because of me, kings ring, and ruler make just degree. So those who make stupid degree, you lack wisdom. You can't live with all wisdom. You can't get wisdom in school. You can't get wisdom from the classroom. You can't get it. A lot of people in the classroom, they are in the dark room. Wisdom, you need it. How can you have wisdom? All right, I will leave that. Many doctors that smoke cigarettes, they need wisdom. There are doctors who smoke. I have seen doctors that smoke. And the doctor know that it's dangerous to the health. But they say smoke. What a stupidity it is. You need wisdom. If you go buy cigarette, I used to buy cigarette for my late brother-in-law, who I consider as a father, who read me, a amen, and the late Morris Kezulu. And uh, he used to send me to buy cigarette. And every time I go buy cigarette, I will see on the part, dangerous to your health. <laughs> there are people that make cigarette, they know that cigarette is dangerous, but fool will continue to smoke. A fool, a fool, you stay smoking. It's dangerous. Talk about my borrow. Why are you borrowing and smoking? <laughs> Amen, somebody. You know that. You know something carrying you, but you're doing it. You need wisdom, oh. You need wisdom to go for help. Don't be bra. Amen, somebody. Listen to me, I'm, I'm honestly saying this thing. In order for us to build this ministry, to build, to move forward, we need wisdom. We don't need conflict and confusion. Because in the midst of conflict and confusion, right. God is not there. We need to pass conflict and confusion. Wisdom will point out on the bigger picture. But if you lack wisdom, you'll look at little things and you will never go ahead. Because wisdom will allow you to leave those things that are behind and forget those that are ahead, things that are ahead. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wisdom! You need it. The Bible says, whoever lacks wisdom, let him ask for it. Let him ask because it's there. Look at, my, look at this guy. Look at this guy I'm talking about. He has become a friend on Facebook. I'll show you a text message that he sent me. Pastor Philip Johnson, Phoenix, Arizona. Send a pray for him by the grace of God, not my own strength. He went and did the, the stool, removed the stool. Death stopped. Why you waited for you to lose your son, lose your auntie, lose your sister-in-law before you call in now for prayer? There are many of all are. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When you don't listen to advice and instruction, wisdom is far from you. 
May God help you all. Amen. Look at your neighbor eyes to eyes. Say, may God send you help. Amen. The fear of the law is the beginning of wisdom. If I didn't fear God, I won't prophesy like that. I won't see like that. I'm serious. I'm honestly saying it to you. Fear of the law. Is it what? The beginning of wisdom. Oh, God, help us to have wisdom. Help us to have what? Wisdom. He said, I'm wisdom. Look at verse 22 now. Or that same proverb. Look at verse 22. Look at 22. I want to move from this. Here. Look at verse 22. Go to verse 22. Verse 22. The law formed me from the beginning before he created anything else. You see that? Read that again. Everybody read that. Wisdom speaking. Wisdom. Wisdom speaking. One, two, three. Go. Everybody read. The law formed me from the beginning before he created anything else. So heaven and earth were not the first thing that God created. Some of you say, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. No. It's in the Bible. You can have many beginnings. Do you know which beginning you are talking about? Yeah. <laughs> ah, somebody help us. Amen. When I and my wife meet, we begin. We started having children. We begin having children. But that does not mean I didn't have other children. Which beginning that God was talking about? In the beginning, God was existing before he started. So he didn't begin from where he began. Ah, my goodness. Somebody shout hallelujah. I must begin to somebody here. He did not begin where he began. Because he was already existing. And who was with him? Wisdom was with him. Yeah, the Bible said, the Lord formed me from the beginning. Before what? He, and now, I'm not the one who wrote the Bible. Please quote the Bible. Before what? Before he created anything else. May God help you to have that wisdom. Oh, nobody say amen. May God help you to have that wisdom. I prophesy wisdom in your family. Wisdom in your home. Wisdom among your children. Wisdom everywhere. That wisdom is coming on you right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive that wisdom. Somebody shall I receive it. What? Where will God when he begin? So when he said in the beginning. Which beginning? Which beginning? <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. So in that beginning, he created heaven and earth, but that wasn't the original beginning. Because here the scripture says, in the beginning, the first thing God created was wisdom. Say, so when I heaven and earth. <laughs> May God help you. May God help you. May God help the church. May God help the church. So why are you leaving the important thing, which is wisdom? Yesterday, we were talking about the most important thing. Amen. The most important thing. So people come to church, they neglect the most important thing. You lack wisdom. Amen. You lack what? Wisdom. That's what I'm praying. This month is the month of our wisdom to build. Somebody say hallelujah. Listen. You will, you will get, you will have some complication. You will have some, some things will be complicated. But when you sleep, you wake up, you will find solution. I prophesy on it in Jesus' name. Hear me, hear me. God will give you wisdom when you go to bed, when you wake up that challenge that you are facing. God will give you wisdom how to go through that challenge. David said, yet yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, I fear no evil why. Because wisdom was with me. Die with me. I enjoy you all today. Who is with? Look at your neighbor and say, who is with you? Some of you, you may. Can I tell you something? The reason why a lot of you make dumb decisions, because wisdom say before you do, you must think. Anyone who do before thinking, you lack wisdom. Before you speak something, think. Wisdom people, they are the most thinking people on earth. But anyone that you do with all thinking, you will regret with all doing. You will do what? Regret. Every time I teach her, I can always say, I can always go to Serene Dion. She made her son say, think twice. <laughs> Come on, young boy. <laughs> Some of y'all know this song. You don't know it. Last year, you know it, right? Baby, think twice. Before you close that door. People don't think in the closing doors. 
There are doors that are closed with your own thinking. And next time you want to come back to that door that you are closed, it's late. Why? Because you don't think before you go. Many of you, you don't have wisdom in relationship. You don't have wisdom when you're living somewhere. How can you live somewhere with confusion? How can you live somewhere when you are hurt? How can you live from somewhere when things are not working? Because the most you're supposed to be with things that are not working. If you have wisdom, you will be there for things to work. Wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Think. People who lack wisdom don't think. They just speak and talk anyhow. They lack wisdom. And can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Words cannot be forgetting. People remember words. Words carry spirit. Jesus said the word I speak to you, they are spirit and they are alive. So be- before you say something, get your thinking faculties together. That when you say it, you mean it. Don't say it and come back and say, no, no, no. I-, I didn't mean what I was saying. Listen to me. Hear me. And listen very well. So women, may God give you wisdom before you close door. Because I come to let you know there are some door you close, you want to come back and lay. Somebody already inside. Somebody came. Because, oh my goodness. Somebody opened it. Somebody have opened it. Before. 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 Think before. Think. Closing doors. Walking away. Lack of wisdom. You want to come back nowhere. There are people that live your life. And they space the life out. Some of them have occupied it. How can they come back? Thank God for Amos. He made a high school girlfriend. He's still on it. They got married. Somebody say amen. amen. So I don't know whether somebody else was there, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> amen. This is what I mean. Wisdom is so powerful. If you want God to bless you, ask for wisdom. Hallelujah. Look at the most important thing. There are many things that will happen inside church. But go for the most important thing. The most important thing demands wisdom. What am I here for? Amen, somebody. I'm here because of the pastor. No, I'm here because of God. Yes. Know what you are here for. Is there nothing in this house? Yes. But a lot of people don't understand it. They walk away. And look at Luke chapter 10, verse 38, what to yesterday. I want to go by that for the benefit of those that were not here. Wisdom so powerful. Amen. And Jesus and his disciples continue on their way. It's, uh-huh, keep going. I want everybody to read. One, two, three, go. Everybody read. And Jesus and his disciples continue on their way to Jerusalem. They came to a certain village where a woman named Mary, I mean, Martha, welcomed him in her home. You see that? She welcomed him. Meaning what? She opened the door. You can't welcome me at your house if you don't open the door. True or false? She opened the door and welcomed Jesus at her home. In her home. Into her home. Wisdom. She welcomed him. Let me show you now what happened here. Amen. She what? She welcomed him into where? Her home. Keep going, verse 39. I want to help you. You were not here yesterday. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard the word. Are you with me? Now, listen to this. Mary, I mean, I mean, I mean, Martha that opened the door, she was not sitting. She opened the door and allowed her sister to sit. But Martha was, Martha was not nowhere around. Who was sitting? Mary. Even though Martha opened the door, but she was not sitting. Who sat? Mary sat to hear the word. Keep going. Let me show you something. 41. Go to 41. Uh-huh. Okay. What happened? Go back to 40. I want, I want to see something real quick. But Martha was distracted with many serving, and she was approached by him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. So the bottom the battle line here is that she was distracted. Martha began distracted. But be, she opened the door and she began what? Distracted. She opened the door and she was distracted. But Mary sat down. 
my goodness, Mary sat down. Even though she didn't open the door, but she sat down. Look at Jesus respond. Look at 41. Look at Jesus respond. Look at Jesus respond. And Jesus answered her and said to her, Matter, matter, you are, you are worried and troubled about many things. You come to church, you worry, you think about many things. Look at the response. Look at verse 42 so I can help you. 42, wisdom. But one thing that is needed, Mary have chosen that good part. Oh, my God. I don't know who that king will talk to here. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, he said, you are worried about so many things. So many things begin to worry you. But your sister have chosen the best part of it. When you come to church, go for what is needed. Don't be distracted with many things. Because as long as you come to church, there will be many things that will distract you. Somebody will not speak to you. Somebody will hurt your feelings. Somebody will talk something about you. Somebody will lie on you. Somebody will no want to obey. But I come to let you know what is the best thing your sister have chosen the best thing. What are you looking for? You are distracted about so many things. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, what are you distracted about? You are forgetting the main thing. There are main things in church. People forget about the main thing. They become distracted. Look at your neighbor. Are you distracted about so many things? May God give you wisdom to build. You need it. Distraction is the order of the day. Ah, God help your people. He said, You are distracted for many things. But your sister, read that again. Your sister. She had what? She had chosen the good part. What Jesus did not say, Oh, you know what? Go and help your sister. But he said, your sister had chosen the good part, which will not be taken away from her. Somebody say hallelujah. May God give you wisdom to choose the best part. Proverbs chapter 12. Let's look at verse 1. Proverbs chapter 12 quickly. I got five minutes, I'm done. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 12, verse 1. Let's see that quickly. There we want you to go. I want you to read it loud. Let people hear it. One, two, three, go. Whosoever love instruction, love knowledge. But he will hate correction. It's stupid. When I say stupid, you think I'm insulting you. But if you don't like correction, you are very, very S-T-U-P-R-D. Stupid people are around. They don't let like, they don't like correction. They're so proud. I'm correcting you to help you. Amen, somebody. I am correcting you to do what? To help you. Don't never hit it. As a matter of fact, your prayer should be, Pastor, please. Tell me something that difficult to do. Let me see if I will do it. Because the blessing is wrapped up in the thing that I had to do. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know Chinese. Why are they hard thing to do? When we correct you, you won't get angry. You stupid. Now I'm, doing, I'm just saying something. Amen. When people correct you and you get angry, you are very stupid. That's what the Bible says. Don't quote prophet. Quote the Bible. What does it say again? Whosoever love instruction, love knowledge, but he who hates correction is very stupid. You don't know me. Who are you to correct me? Stupidity kicking you right there. I got degree. You're a degree, but you are in disgrace. Amen, somebody. There are many people who have degree, but they are digging grave. Wisdom is what helps you to humble yourself. 
Humble yourself before the Lord, He will lift you up. May let mercy sing in some here today. Some shout hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Who born you? Eh? Sit down, you act you with the one that God chose and put over you. You sit down to act you. And say, He don't know what you're doing. Some of you get angry and walk away. Listen to me, hear me. Martha opened the door, Mary sat down. Where were Martha doing from? There are people that open door for you to enter and they leave. Very stupid. Nobody should ever make you to leave from God's presence. Amen? Nobody. The devil is not born and pressing. Somebody say hallelujah. Nobody. Don't be the matter. She opened the door and allowed Mary to enter. Mary entered, Mary sat down. And Martha began distracted. Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are worried about so many things. You are confused about so many things. Your sister has chosen the best part. Amen, somebody. Amen. The best part. You walk away, you miss the best part, but you have chosen the best part. Patience is profitable to direct anyone. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Wisdom is profitable to direct because instructions is why eliminate instructions. In Jesus' name. Amen. May you find instructions. Amen. I said it on Friday. I want to say it again because many of you are not here. We regret to announce the death of Sister Maureen's daughter. We regret it. We cry and everything. Are you understand what I'm saying? She died. The little girl died. We went to sympathize with her so we can talk about it because it's all on Facebook. Amen, somebody. She what? She died. How old was she? 24. She died. Her mother used to come to this church. Her sister was serving as an usher. I prophesied to her, and I said, since the aunt were here, and I said, the Lord want you to stay in the church and serve. You, 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 were, you were in the service, right? Sister, Sister Maury, you were there? And I said, the Lord want you to stay. Because by you staying under the prophetic courage, anything want to happen to your children, I will see it, and I will tell you, and it will be saved. Now what I said to her, you all here, right? You, you know that, right? Sister, sister, huh? You are talking now. You're, you see, if I'm, that's what happened. Yeah? You were here on our prophecy. Right here at their prophecy. The Lord instructed me, stay here. Don't leave. Oh, maybe she thought I wanted memos. And she stopped coming. She stopped. She stopped. I called her daughter Ottawa last year when I came from Liberia last year. Ottawa, I called her daughter Blessing. I said, why are you not coming to church? Because any let one person be in the church. So when Daniel's coming for the family, I will be able to see it. She said, Prophet, I'm sorry. They did say too long. I found a church right next door. Two days ago, the sister died at the age of 24. The mother went to work and came by and met her lying down, blood coming from her nose. 24 years old. Well, sister, I called us, my wife, and I drove there right away to go. When she saw us, she saw us. She said, Prophet, my daughter died. And before she died, she was talking about coming. That was she told us. She was talking about coming, but she did not come. We, she said, we think I'm calling you for prayer. That's what she said. Amen, somebody. That's what she said. She died. We regret the death. But, I, but listen to me. I do want to be here. I don't know everything. Don't say I know everything. And I don't see everything. But uh, you, there's no way you will be here and serve me. When Daniel's coming, I won't be able to see it. Somebody shout hallelujah. God gave everybody gifts. When God directs you to a gift, so with me, stay. It will be blessed. So much hallelujah. So many people who are despised my instruction and they end up dying. I'm not the one who, God forbid, they end up dying. Amen, somebody. Amen. They end up dying. A lady from our prayer line, she was on her way to Liberia. You know the story? And everybody in the congregation told us, the prophet said, don't go. And she said, her pastor already prayed for her. 
Her pastor already prayed for her. She got to go. Number two, she already bought her ticket so she can't cancel the ticket. She went to Liberia. I begged her. I was on my knee begging her. I said, the Lord don't want you to go. She said, my pastor had prayed for me. You know the story? She left from there. She went to Liberia. Seven days she died. Seven days. She did not even free the continuum from the port. She was in the process of freeing the continuum. She died. Somebody who knows sugar hand. Some sharp thing entered inside her, went to her chest. She said, sharp object enter like a needle. Enter inside her, went to her heart. And seven days later, she cried. She don't cry. She don't cry. She died. Somebody shout hallelujah. She died. I told a lady from North Carolina. I said, don't marry this man. Are you sending him from London? She said, Pastor, the man always send me flower. He's a good man. And I want her, please, sister, don't marry this man. The Lord is telling me, don't marry this guy. You want to pray for what reason? To, to this past instruction? She said, no, she's not going to listen to me because there's the only Liberian man I ever seen her flower. God, you look good. And listen to me. Listen, I went by in my closet to pray. I said, Lord, what kind of African woman love flower, not money? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gave flower to somebody before they said, what are they doing with bush? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm talking to you. I just say something. So, <laughs> I sent flower to her school. Big, nice flower. She for me, I thought I was going to be happy. She said, what am I doing with bush? The person is around, but I can't see them. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen, somebody. African women looking for money. You go send a bush. <laughs> Bush, a bunch of bush, bush, called flower. Hi. The first thing I'm going to say, is there flower I'm going to eat? <laughs> <But somewhere else. laughs> she left the flower right on the counter. And I've spent money for that flower since the four dollars. It's still hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> and that woman despised my word. She went and married this guy. She did not know this guy was a bisexual. She came from work and met him having sex in her living room with another man. She went for a street there. She never came back to herself. Instructions. Somebody say hallelujah. Stay on your feet because I won't carry you too much. I will end this. Stop it again. It's so long. But I will give you several material that you need to build. Because when you're building, you don't need all materials. There are stages of building. They have foundations. They had a building. And they had a covering. There are people who will come in your life just for foundation purpose. There are some that will come just to help you build a structure. There are some will come just to help you cover your building. There are three states of building. The foundation people can't always stay. When they finish with foundation, that job done, they're gone. But people, yeah, they got to go build another foundation. Thank you. But people, I see one of my foundation members here, one of my foundation, when I look around, I want to see two or three foundation people. That's Moneymaker, Great Jerome, he's here, amen, in the back. There are foundation people. They didn't want to pick me up from the airport when I landed in Dallas. They didn't want to pick me up from the bus station. I see, he went and came back. He's very wise. Somebody say he was. Somebody say he was. He left for three years. Can't find nothing like this. He said, I better be like a protocol song. Even if I go sit in the bike with my dad's shit, but let me just go. <laughs> position or no position, let me stay go. He and he one. came by very faithful. Amen, somebody. Some of you, we are wise. You better come by. Amen, somebody. He said, prophet, I went everywhere. I didn't see anything like you. I said, may God bless you. Be a bailer. Be a what? Bailer. A bailer. There will always be Sambara and Tobias around. And many of you foundation people are still here. It is good. Amen. Instruction is what help you. We got three services to do right now. Two. Yeah, three. We got a minister come here. We got a dedicated baby. We got to pray over the blood. Now listen to the instructions the Lord gave me. I'm so sorry many people are not here. Thank God some of you that are here. The Lord showed me. I was the one the Lord showed about Ebola before it came. Ebola. One year before Ebola came, I saw it. I announced it to the world. And uh, before Ebola started coming. When coronavirus was coming, I saw it. Pastor Joy recorded it in November 2019. I told Pastor, I told the president there was going to be a signal coming. It will kill thousands of people. It will come from China. 
She wrote it down. And then we saw coronavirus came. God showed me stuff. Now, three days ago or four days ago, I saw deaf angels flapping his wing on the earth. There will be more deaf. There will be more deaf this year. I don't know how they will die. I don't know how people will die. Maybe to signal, to cancer, or whatever. But I see more death this year than never before. So the Lord instructed me to pray over cranberry juice, represent the blood of Christ. And not for you to drink. It is not for drinking. The cranberry juice, yeah, you can drink it, but it's not for drinking. And for you to spring out, for you to spring out it on your door post. Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. Put that on the screen. They think we cancer death even from your family. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Esther <laughs> chapter 12. Thank you, Pastor Kofa. You're very obedient. Exodus chapter 12. I hope you know y'all. Today is a special service. I finished 12 30 already, but the extra services have to go on to bless God's people. Thank you, Lord. I thank God that you are bringing it here. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba karaba shatala. Muraba baba shikala baba. Ye karaba. Mu karaba baba. Blessed to have me. You're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. Tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. This week, I'm supposed to be in Gambia. The fly is up. You can see your own beach. I want a flyer already. Come here. Yeah, the flyers are only to go pay, go to Bishop Kung Pay. We're supposed to go, me, my wife, and sister Rilana, supposed to go to Gambia this week. I don't know why to even tell the people about Gambia. I was there 2012th. Shh. You know, take the children, keep me quiet. It's an important part. I was in Gambia 2012. I'm on live and I'm seeing Gambia 2012. And the church was so crowded with people. Gloria Baptist Church on Avenue in Gambia. Yaya Jomi saw the crowd. He thought it was one of your opponents. Because when the time Yaya Jomi was ruling, opposition, you can't pull no bribo up. You can't talk anything beside Yaya Jomi's story. So when he saw the crowd, that how he sent somebody called Usman to go check who was that. He got to know that was a prophet in Gambia. They brought a lady with carringtons. You could see her boom showing from here. All her, her ribs was showing from left side. They brought her in the service. She was at the point of death. And the first thing the Lord gave her name. I said, your name Asatu? She said, yes. She couldn't even tell her to because 
As I was speaking, they were interpreting in Walla. In Walla. So I went to her, I said, your name, Asatu? I said, she said, yes. I said, what happened? What did the daughter say that wrong with you? And they interpreted, see, the daughter said, she, 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 she's a kidney, whatever. I said, no, she's got HIV. And she screamed. What she was saying, what HIV. She was 42 years old. I called her age and said, you got HIV. I come here before. I called another guy called Amadou. He had a growth right here, a big growth. And I said to him, that's it. He said, he, the daughter can't find nothing. And I said, but you ate something in your sleep. Your stepmother gave you something to eat because she wanted to get rid of you. She was one of the brilliance in the family, all your sibling. So the, the thing was just big like the income. I, I brought the DVDs, 2012. And I said, only two things now. You want your stepmother to die? He said, only way you will ever get better until she died. He got here. He spoke a water thing. <laughs> da, 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 da. Before I left from Gambia, his stepmother died in the village. The had that thing disappear. He the, he the one, right now, as I'm speaking, he want me to go Gambia right now. He spread the news all The flower is up for me to go Gambia. Every community in Gambia know that prophet is coming. How would I tell them? I, 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 I got to be with you. You know, I don't want to get your... Boy, Martina, Martina, stand up. Martina, last week, she was fighting with me. She made me scared right now. I can't travel. <laughs> she says, sir, why will you abandon your floor? You abandon your floor. You abandon, you abandon your floor. At least go for one week. Why you go stay there? Don't go again. <laughs> she was fighting with me. <laughs> Martina, you're very selfish. The rest everywhere, your pastor. <laughs> Amen. In Jesus' name. But I won't be able to go to Gambia because of you all. I've got to stay here. Hallelujah. I will go next time because I just, I've got to stay, go on a boat, do Mother Day program. i got to stay. She's happy now. She, yeah, okay. I got wisdom, oh. When any man who got wisdom, make your wife happy in the day. In the day. Make her happy in the day. If you got wisdom, make her happy in the day. Then in the night you can have freedom. Okay. I'm going to marry people who understand what I'm saying. In the night you will have freedom. Make God help us. Certificate. God is going to bless you. Amen. Oh, I hope Bishop is not watching 18 years old, my people. Bishop watches the He told you. I got to come. Hey, God, help us. You see the Gambia Crusade? I'm on a flyer. Easy, I'm yeah? on a flyer. I mean, right there in the black for the city of Gambia to be on fire this week. But I got to cancel because this week is a delivering week. Inside the plane, in Jesus' name. So, Exodus chapter 12, there was a pledge. Let's look at verse 13 quickly. Verse 13. Now the blood shall be a sign for you. On what? On the house where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over. But let's start from verse 10. Give me f go, for the, go to the original King James. Let me see verse 10. And you shall let Nothing of it remain. What are you doing to kill the lamb? I don't want to go from the beginning. The morning and you shall re remain of it until the morning you shall burn with fire. Keep going, verse 11. Verse 11. And thou shalt yet eat it 
with the Lawrence gain for your shoes and feet and all the kind of stuff hand ye shall eat his. It is the Lord Passover. Keep going. Verse 12. For I will pass to the land of Egypt this night. And I will smash all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and beasts. And against all gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the law. That was the spirit of death. He released the spirit of death. Look at verse 13. And, it shall, and ye and the blood shall be unto you for talking upon the house where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the place shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So God told them to kill the blood and put it on every doorpost and put the blood. Now, we have the blood of Jesus. Now, we are more powerful. We don't have to kill lamb. Somebody say hallelujah. We have the blood of Christ now. So God told us in his word that we should do the blood all the time. Amen? Don't be a fool and say, okay, I already got Jesus. I don't need to put blood on my door. You are a fool. Why you still take communion? Why you still taking communion? Amen? The communion is a mystery. It's indicative of the blood, the actual blood that Christ, Christ shared. Amen? So what I've seen, what the red juice represent blood, red represent blood, it's a symbol. It's a mystery. You don't understand. We're going to pray away because what I saw, I saw a devil flapping his wing on this earth. And mark me, young people are going to die plenty. And you will see chaos going to visit the earth soon. You're going to see that. I see chaos, weird calamity going to visit the earth. Yesterday I was praying. I saw shooting in a mall. There was a heavy shooting in a mall. Four persons died. In my revelation, I got on my knee. I started praying right away because I love the mall. But thank God, I came back. I can't go to the mall. <laughs> so we're going to pray for that. Amen. I saw shooting in the mall. Watch my word. I saw that Claire yesterday I was praying. There's going to be a shooting in the mall. You won't be part of it because there's going to be some stuff that's going to happen. Father, we thank you for today. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for your word. Now, why is this? We're going to do baby dedications. Right after the baby dedication, we're going to take communion. After the communion, I will bless all of this blood. By the time you reach your heart, pull some on your hand. Come hold the mic for me. Come hold the mic. Sorry. No, 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 not because of that. I just still. So, by the time you reach your house, the Lord Jesus Christ, it is your blood. Death will pass over my house. One. And then you do it two times. Okay? Or the post. If your, if your house got two doors that are open, you know what I'm talking about? No double door. Sprinkle one on the other one. One on the other one. No matter what the scripture says. The two door posts. The scripture. So you sprinkle. There's this. Then... Every entrance that enter in your house, the back door and the front door, the door post, you cover it. This is for you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to do that. And then your family will be safe. Amen. Your children will be safe. Amen. They will not come near you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. you'll be safe. Amen. Father, if I be a true man of God, I decree, stretch your hand, let's pray. I decree, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray that you will not explain no death this year, next year, until Jesus comes. We cancel death. Pray, 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 pray. 